Hi there. Um, on my last video, I mentioned that I smoked for about 12 years and then I gave it up. And a uh, fellow YouTuber uh, requested that I do a video specifically on how I was able to give up smoking. First of all, we got to understand that smoking is both a habit and an addiction. Now, as habits go, um, that's more to do with your psychological state, your emotional attachment to something, and patterns that you have developed in your day-to-day -day life. For example, I used to um, always leave the toilet seat up and until I entered into a relationship with the opposite sex where we had to share the same bathroom. I quickly learned how to get into the habit of leaving the toilet seat down. And, uh, and now, now I'm living alone, um, I still put the toilet seat down because it's now an ingrained habit. And smoking, now that's just superficial, it's easy to change those kinds of habits. Uh, but smoking too is a habit where we develop a pattern of we have cigarettes certain times of the day and we get into that routine of having those having so many cigarettes a day each person is different in how many they have and when they have them or for what reason they have them but they get into that habit um, now the addictive side of smoking which comes from the chemical that's in cigarettes, nicotine, that's quite different than the habit side of it. That is something that works on a biochemical level where this chemical nicotine, once it enters into your bloodstream, release, releases some kind of... Now, I don't understand... I can't get into the, the, the technical side of you know, what happens with an addictive substance like nicotine, but I do know from experience that you get this rush or sensation um, that creates this enormous gratification in the brain. And you want that again, and you want that again. And so you're kind of, you find yourself chasing after it. And nicotine is an addictive substance that I would put on par with heroin and cocaine. It's highly addictive. People that smoke for a number of years, they'll tell you it's extremely difficult to give it up. And they're not talking about the habit side of it. They're talking about the actual addictive side of it, and that is nicotine. Um, so there's many ways of attacking smoking and getting off of it. And today, you know, there's, there's a lot of methods out there and you really do have to find something that will suit you uh, in dealing with smoking addiction. Uh, for me, what worked was, first of all, um, after a couple of years of smoking, I decided I wanted to quit. It was a filthy habit. I just didn't want to do it anymore. Um, and so when I started practicing, I, I introduced a new habit, the habit of quitting. Now, every Monday morning, I would quit smoking. Now, I might last half a day, I might last a full day, I might last two or three days, sometimes I would even last a week, and then I would start up again. And then I'd be disappointed about starting up again, but you know, I'd get over that rather quickly. And again, the next Monday would come up, and I would quit. And I did this all the time. So I got into the habit of quitting, and I had it set in my mind that one day I would be free of cigarettes, that I would truly quit them. So there was a tension there for quite a few years. I never accepted smoking 
as being okay for me. I knew I had to quit one day and I never quit quitting. I always quit. <laughs> it sounds funny, but it's very effective because it just, your brain gets into this conflict and it doesn't like having that contradiction in there where, you know, we, we sort of live in this either or dichotomy, either, you know, we're this or we're that. We can't be in the middle. It's just our brains don't like that. And so um, I was doing this for the longest time and it was getting tiring quitting, quitting, but I knew I had to do it. But what, what really um, brought me to that place where I was ready to quit was when I, my, I saw my three-year-old daughter, my one-year-old son, and my wife and my family and my home, and I think this is all beautiful, this is all wonderful. Why am I still smoking? And that's when I decided enough is enough. I don't want my children to be exposed to this filthy habit. I don't want it to be a problem in their lives when they grow up. And that was when I decided. That was the catalyst that really brought me to that place where I had enough. I had to quit. So I had a really good reason to quit. So, you know, I prepared myself for quitting for quite a few years now. And now I was at a place where I had a really good reason to quit. So that's another thing too. Find a good reason to quit. You know, maybe it's money, like smoking costs a lot of money today. Oh my, what is it? I don't know, $10 a pack? Um, so think of it, like calculate how much you're spending on cigarettes and think of the money that you would save from not smoking could go towards ha perhaps a savings account or maybe paying off credit card debt or maybe saving for a vacation, whatever your reasons, you know, but find a good reason to quit. Maybe it's health. Now there's a great reason. You want to be healthy. You want to lose weight. You want to look great. You want to have energy. You want to be able to run, run long distances. Um, you want to feel vital again. That is a good reason to quit, but find your reason. You need something to, to motivate you to get off this terrible habit. So you've got your good reason, you're ready to quit. Um, you know, you're psyched up for it, you try to quit, and then what happens? You fall flat on your face. That's what usually happens. And, and the reason is, is because uh, you're fighting two battles here. You're fighting the, the battle of the habit of smoking, which you've been accustomed to for a number of years, and you're fighting the more um, darker battle, and that is of the physical addiction of nicotine. And it's a losing battle. You gotta take one battle on at a time. The first battle you need to take on is the um, physical addiction of nicotine. And the way I did it, and this doesn't work for everybody, because I know some people that have done it and they it just doesn't it doesn't work with them. Um, hold on. No. This is a collard smoothie, smoothie with pineapple, um, wild apples that I picked, and um, bananas. And it's really tasty. Okay, so back to dealing with the, the physical addiction. I used the patch. And what was nice about the patch, you put the patch on your arm or on a, somewhere on your body, it releases nicotine into your bloodstream gradually so that it enables you, you, you get that nicotine satisfaction. Um, but so you're able, so you, you don't have to fight that, that addictive habit. Um, I'm sorry, the, the drug addic addiction, oh, hold on a second, I'm stumbling for words here. I'm being distracted actually. Okay, so it, give, it puts the nicot nicotine into your bloodstream 
So then you can focus on the emotional attachment or the psychological attachment to cigarettes, that habit side. And usually you have to use the patch for about three months. Now I was able to use the patch for only a month and then I was able to get off of it and I, I never did go back to smoking nor have I desired it after that. But the nice thing about that, the nice thing about the patch was I could have my nicotine, my drug fix, and then deal with the habit, like dealing with the habit of putting the toilet seat down instead of leaving it up, dealing with the habit of, of not having that cigarette at certain times of the day. Now, it's important too that, um, you see, you can't leave a void. There's a reason why you started smoking. There's you, you may have started in college or high school or you may have started really smoking when you, when you began your new career and it was a way of coping with stresses. Now, if you just give that up, you're going to want to replace it with something um, to help you deal with the same kind of stresses. And uh, that could be a number of things. It, it, it's Every person is an individual. You've got to find your own thing. For me, after I got off the, the patches and I was able to cope with the addictive side uh, of the withdrawal of the nicotine and I had more or less dealt with the habit side of smoking, I took up running. And that was my replacement for smoking, running. And that's you know, and it wasn't even like it was planned. It was just like there was a void there now. It had to be replaced with something. I replaced it with running. And so that's that's basically my story about how I got off smoking. I started with the patch. There are many different methods you can try. Um, you may want to try, um, I've, I've heard of people that have had success with, uh, I think it's called Zyban. Uh, or there's other prescription drugs out there today that you could use to help you um, wean off the habit of smoking. There's, you may try hypnosis. Um, you may need to see a therapist. There might be some deeper issues there, like from early childhood trauma that you need to deal with. But, uh, or you may just have an addictive personality. Whatever it is, you, you, every, everybody's an individual. But you can overcome smoking, um, but you need to understand that you're dealing with two things, and that is the addictive side of it, the drug side of it, and the habit side of it. And then from there, find a way of, of conquering smoking. Again, for me, never, never quit quitting. Even when you fail the first time, learn from your failure and try it again. Never quit quitting. Set that goal have it in your mind, find your reason for quitting and never give up on that. And you will get there. One day it'll just click, it'll hit in and that's it. Now, I, when I'm walking down the street, there's somebody in front of me smoking, I can't stand the smell of it. It almost makes me sick inside. It's almost like I, I, I'm allergic to it now. I don't understand that, but that's okay. Um, I don't dream about smoking. I have no interest in it. And it's probably because now I, my lifestyle is so geared toward, towards health and fitness that there's just no room for, for that habit anymore. So that's, that's it. That's my experience with quitting smoking. Have a great day and God bless.